With less than two weeks until PC party members choose the next premier, a big development today. It involves an exorbitant bill footed by taxpayers, identity theft, and documents that could only have come from inside government. Kim Ternacity reports. Splashed all over the front page, news that as Deputy Premier in 2012, Thomas Lukasik racked up a $20,000 international roaming fee while on a personal trip to Poland and Israel. A fee he apologizes for but says the emergency transmission of documents was from an Edmonton law firm for government business. So we transmitted those documents and upon my arrival the bill came in which obviously was work related. None of this was personal conversations or anything of that nature. So we tried to negotiate, TELUS was the provider, we tried to negotiate with TELUS and they basically told us to take a hike. How this story surfaced is even more interesting. Documents that could only have come from inside Service Alberta sent anonymously to the Edmonton Sun, allegedly by a Calgary resident whose identity was stolen. Thomas Lukasik says the leak is clearly aimed at damaging his reputation. I wish politics wasn't like that. But we're in the middle of a, of a very heated uh, three-way uh, race, and, uh, and those things happen. You know, this wasn't new information. Uh, it was previously available, but obviously it's being strategically used at this point in time. Lukasik isn't mentioning him by name, but friction has been building between candidates who were in cabinet under Alison Redford and the perceived frontrunner Jim Prentice. Thomas, you were the deputy premier of Alberta. You were the deputy premier. Uh, you knew what you were seeing. Uh, you sat silently, there was no excuse. Today, a spokesman for the Prentice campaign denied any involvement with the leak, writing, nobody from our campaign sent that package. As for Thomas, he'll have to explain his own actions. The impact of this development in the campaign will be determined on voting day, September 6th. Kim Trinacity, CBC News, Edmonton. I'm Travis McC